What is up YouTube, this is Fortress Striker, and today I'm going to be talking about the new blue support that just came out today for the tournament power set. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Alright, so first things first, our two leaders. First, obviously we're going to get Universe 7 leader because we are getting multicolors for this set. And the first one we're going to have is some Gohan, and let me tell you something guys, by far we already found our perfect leader for the deck, it's great, uh, it's going to be this. So obviously Warrior Universe Entry, it's Universe 7 uh, in all areas as if they have no specific cause. That's like um, in every leader card if they have a specific, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, his auto effects is, once per turn, when you combo with the Universe 7 from your battle area during your turn, draw two cards. Already, you read this up and it's already much of a great card. And then when you awaken, it's, it's already just to turn two of your energies and switch them. And I like that because it's fair and balanced to just go ahead and not draw too much. Now for his Awaken, uh, which is Sun Gohan, leader of Universe 7. Uh, permanent, Universe 7's in your battle area can combo when in rest mode. That's amazing. You already have your cards already attacked and you can just combo with this and it's ridiculous. And uh, once per turn, when you combo with Universe 7 from your battle area during your turn, you draw two cards. So, the moment you, you combo, that's your uh, draw power for this. And it's a great, it's really great. I love it. I prefer to play this a lot people. Alright, and our for Universe 9 set, which is for blue, it's Bergamo. So when this card attacks a leader, draw a card. When you switch it, you choose all two of your energy to act. And then, here we have Bergamo, Eldest Brother. Return states when Lavender and Basil are in play in your battle area, your opponent's leader card cannot attack this card. When it attacks, draw a card. So, think about this. Let's say for cards that can attack, like, that's not awakened, and they have like the effect where they attack the leader, or when they attack, they draw a card. Which is like the GT Star Goku, the Kale, the Yellow Bardock, you know, they do that stuff. But the one thing I know for a fact it really helps well up against is the Blue Vegeta Critical and the Mass Saiyan Critical, because Criticals can really affect the deck, and you really don't want that for your card. But um, it's an okay leader, but it, I, I get the idea that just why it doesn't. So, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get straight to our card. So. First off, we got Ready to Fight Sun Goku, Energy 1, cost 5,000 power. Uh, when you play this card, look at the top three cards of your deck and choose one Universe 7 among them. That's it. It's really great. You just go ahead and just start pod duality your cards. Next, uh, for the rare, we got Results of Training Sun Gohan, 5 energy cost, 25,000 power. He's evolved with 4 energy cost, uh, as far as Universe 7 Sun Gohan Adolescence. This permanent is that if there are two or more Universe 7s in your combo area, this card gains twin uh, triple strike. That's amazing. Just have two of them in your at least in your combo area. Uh, so and you already make this guy already a powerful card in the game. Uh, when a card evolves in this card, if your leader is blue, choose up to three universe seven with an energy cost of three or less in your hand and play him. So it lets you go ahead and do your play, some of them out so you can still combo or anything. You don't really highly require to go up to three, obviously. And you can choose if you want to do that or not. It depends. Uh, next, Focus Mind Sun Gohan. Uh, it has Barrier, it's 3 draw, 15 times power. Uh, activate Main, and I like this. Activate Main. Once per turn, look at the top 7 cards of your deck and choose a Universe 7 among them, and play that card by paying its energy cost. So, it basically lets you go ahead and look up, choose a Universe 7, and then you just get to play it. You know, like pay for its energy costs and all that. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's a really great card to see how it works. Uh, next is Whis Mentor of Beers. Now this is for basically the Beers deck support. So what it does is a three drop fifteen thousand barrier card. Permanent. The energy cost of beers in your hand is reduced by one. And another permanent. And there can only be one Whis Mentor of Beers in the back to play in your battery. And I respect that because the reason is with this card. It helps basically get your energy four beers to be summoned, your energy seven beers to be summoned, you know. You get so you can go ahead and just try to do some attacks. But that's only for like beers decks, so we're not here for beers decks, but I, I appreciate that they made this card for um for the game. <clears throat> Next we got Focus Mind Piccolo, three drop fifteen K, rare, and this is a great card. It's blocker, it's a barrier. It's permanent is during your opponent's turn, if you have four or more energy, this card gains five thousand power. It's great. I, I, it's not a bad card anyway. You don't really have to play it, you know, so, so I understand. But it, you know, you basically go ahead and just have a blocker and a barrier, and your opponent can't touch this card. 
Next, Multiform Tian Xian, 4 draw, 25,000 power. Now, I'm going to explain this card, that this card in the Gohan deck is very, very important. Now, its permanent states that this card loses 5,000 power for each Tian Shenhan in your battle area or combo area. So, I don't know if it counts for itself if it's the only Tian on the board. If it says other Tian Shenhan, so that'd be fine, but if it does, I guess that's okay. It's auto of this when you play this card, if your leader card is Universe 7, you may place one card from your hand in the drop area, and if you do so, choose up to three multi four team channels from your deck and play them, then shuffle it. And you're wondering, why is this so great? Because we need it for the combos. And uh, they're 0 5000 so, and the less TNs we have, the, the stronger he gets, because if you like it the anime, he gets weaker every time he uses the multi form effect, which is one of the dumbest things, so it's not like using a Shadow Clone, guys. Next, we got Universe 9, Supreme Kairo, and uh, so we're going to go ahead straight to the Universe 9 set, uh, which are really great. So he's uh, your 3-drop 10k card, and when you play this card, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose any number of Universe 9 among them, and add it to your energy in rest mode. I love it. It's like in Magic, obviously, you play like a, a land card where you activate it, you go ahead and search for a land, and then you just play a tap. I love that. It's perfect. That way you can go ahead and increase your uh, energies. You know, for the next couple of games. Next, we got Brothers of Terror Bergamo. Uh, five job, 20 key. Uh, so, here's our three of the, of the trios. Uh, for, it is basically a double strike, and permanent effect is when Lavender and Basil are in play in your battle area. Your opponent cannot place cards in their energy area. That's just crazy. I love it. The fact that you basically have this guy in the board with two of his brothers, you already put a lock on your opponent to prevent any more energy to come up. You know, unless it's like the Son Goku leader that already has all six max, and even so, it wouldn't matter. The only way they can only just get more energy is they play the West Kai, and that's the only way they can do it. They play blue, otherwise, they're kind of a lock. Uh, next up, the brothers Trio the Dangerous Lavender, two drop 10k, uh, auto effect. When this card attacks, and if another Trio the Dangerous is in your play in your battle area. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards when your cards are four less and KO it. I love it. So as long as you have another one, you can already just attack the leader and just KO on your opponent's uh, cards. You know, Jurens, Beers, you know, what we can do. The so four dollar less. And finally, of the Trio of the Dangers, Basil, three drop 15k, permanent effect during your turn. If another Trio of the Dangers is in play in your battle here, this card gains 1,000 power for each of your energy and you have Inky's dual type. This is actually a great card. So let's say, for example, we have about three to four energies. Uh, that'll make it like about 18 or 19,000 power. He gains dual attack. That's really great. It kind of helps basically your opponent have to, like, you know, sometimes like they're in awaken mode or got their super combo set up. They're going to waste their, their resource because they know that it's a little bit much. You know, it's all too much. But not at the beginning of the game, of course. I'm just saying. Like later in the game. It's only when you have all three of these guys. This one's already great. <clears throat> so, all right. Next, we're gonna go to the uh, the non trio to the angels. All right. So we got Iron Skin Battler Chapel. Four drop, twenty k. He has double strike. His auto effect states: When you play this card, if your leader card is Universe Nine, you may choose one card in your life, add it to your hand, and if you do so, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and place it to the bottom of its owner's deck. It's great. Just get rid of the most annoying cards that's gonna that's gonna control the deck the board, and you can just already have the advantage. So. Uh, next, Universe 9 Striker Comfrey, 3 drop 15k. And let me be honest with you, uh, I think it's this card? Yes. Uh, well, I don't know. I was trying to think of another card that has a good effect, but uh, his effect is when you play this card, choose up to one of your Universe 9 in your hand with an energy cost less than or equal to your total energy and play it. Love it. So, if you already got three energies, four energies, and you can tell when you're true of the dangers, this card is going to help you get there faster so you don't have to hold it up the next turn. Next, we got Universe 9 Striker Hop, 3 drop 15k. She's, a, she's your critical of the deck, and her permanent is if another Universe 9 is in play in your battle area, your opponent can activate blockers during this card's attack. And I like it, because the idea, since it is critical, it prevents blockers to basically to do their thing, you know, to protect their leaders and everything. So, yeah. I've said, uh, Universe 9 Striker Oregano, 2 drop 10k. Uh, when you, yeah, this is the card actually that I like. This it looks really good. He looks like a zombie. Uh, 
of when you play this card, you may reveal one Universe 9 from your hand, place it at the bottom of your deck, and if you do so, you draw two cards. That's, that's great, you, can, you just get rid of like a resource in your hand that you don't need, just to draw two extra cards. It's pretty good, man. Uh, I really had it, and it's 2 drop 10k, so it's really good. Um, next, we got Universe 9, Striker Hisop. Uh, 2 drop 5k, he's basically, you know, you got, you got the blank of a leader, you know, on your play or battle area. Uh, blocker, draw summon, so it's your my of the deck. We always just call it the my of the deck, so it's pretty good. Alright, so, next, Sorel, the small warrior, 2 drop 12,000. Is our super combo deck obviously, and like we state, it is basically uh, the tournament powers five or less. If you have that type of universe as a leader, you draw a card against South Power. Um, yeah, so mandatory. Give them money. Uh, next, we got Universe Nine Striker Roselle. One drop, five k. When you play this card, look at the top three cards of your deck and choose a Universe Nine one. Obviously, your pot duality of the deck. All right, and then here we go. Uh, we got next Spectrum Attack Obuni. We drop 15k. He is now. We are done with the universe nine cards. Now we're going to non-universe types. This is universe ten. So, and this is going to be really great because you're going to need this for the Gohan card for the deck. So, when you combo with this card, draw one card and place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck. Yeah. So basically, you draw your card, place a card in your hand, and then when you combo with using the Gohan and that shit, draw two. Um, so I'm just going to check that in case I don't feel like I, I saying it wrong. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, <laughs> you can't. Okay, forget what I said, but yeah, that's a great card. Um, really good for blues. Uh, back to it. Uh, and for our vanilla, Ludichim, the fat Ludist freak. And now, finally, for our extra card. We got Dangerous Triangle, it costs one energy, and it's your field spell of the deck. Its permanence is that if Bergamo, Lavender, and Basil are in play in your battle area, Keep the skills of all of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less in their battle area. That's amazing. Now, I only want to question that if you remember Cold Bloodlust ruling where they uh, get to negate the cards with bear. I don't know if that really consists well of the same thing, but I think it might. I think it does. I I, I guess so. If not, I, I want to hear your. Let me know in the comment section below. So, I don't get confused about this, and so does everyone else. But yeah, I uh, find this card very fascinating just to go ahead and prevent your opponents to do any plays, you know, for searching, for attacks, for whatever. And then finally, for our last extra card, we got Shining Blaster. It's your negate of the deck and negate the attack. And if your leader card is Universe 9, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost 4 or less and return it to its owner's hand. It's great! And you know, obviously, car stack when really goes to the draw here, we all know that. So, I found this negate really well done. It's pretty good. It's fair balance, you know, it doesn't have to be like any energy cost. Um, it's as simple as that. And yes, guys, that's it for the blue support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys go ahead and check it out. Like you said, you can check it out on the dbscardgame.com. You don't really have to see this uh, site. And then uh, when DBS decks here, uh, find a way to go ahead and uh, put it in. Um, if we could check actually for a quick sec, I just want to make sure if they put it in here. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, so once they do, I'm going to see if I can try build a Universe 9 deck and just for you guys. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm going to go ahead and wait a couple hours before the greatest Royal Rumble, by one of the fingers, to see how it is. And I will give a review on that one later tonight or tomorrow. Hope the video will be up for them. Until then, guys, this is Fortress Striker, signing off.